to ignore the mess here. This is the time lapse dolly now that's sort of getting close to being done. Got a bearing in here that um, helps this spin freely. <laughs> it's pretty expensive, that's about sort of twenty dollars for just that. Um, this is actually some leftover of this stuff, um, which I've bent myself because um, to get any other aluminium at this time is too expensive because <coughs> I've only got the warehouses to go to, not the off cuts. So, anyway, here's what it looks like at the moment. That motor's still got to be locked down. But, um, yeah. it moves. So that's the only thing right now. I don't know, I've got power coming from the laptop and this battery is running the motor. And then, yeah, next step is to get this thing secured in so it stops wandering around. This pipe actually is doing a really good job. On the stepper motor I actually ground away half of the uh, drive train so it gives it something to grab onto. Um, apart from that, the cat's really interested in us. Um, I've got a few feet for it and stuff, but I mean, it's getting pretty close. Um, I was hoping that I'd get my LCD for it this weekend, but it didn't come to get it finished. So it looks like it'll be a next weekend job. Next, I've got to uh, drill a hole in here, because I was just making sure this is all done. I'm not too sure what to do here. Right now, I've just hot glued it. Um, which I suppose is an okay stop gap, but I'm not sure what to do from there. And uh, same with this on the other side of that. Um, I've glued it as well. Not too sure what to do. I could most probably, I don't know, I was thinking I could bend another piece of this over the top of it and lock it in. But even then, it's not the best solution, so... Um, we'll see we'll see how we go. I'm only going to put one rivet in this, which will give it enough... Like, because this isn't measured exactly. Um, I haven't measured this exactly. It... I wanted just to leave enough room for this to maybe move left and right just a tiny bit. And this bit up here will just get drilled twice into there. Yeah, that's where I'm up to right now. Um, I'll have to stop it in here. I've got some switches and stuff which I'm going to put at the end here to stop, make sure the engine stops when it reaches it. Um, I was originally going to just do it by counting how many revolutions it does, but if that slips, then it could be out, or who knows what things could weird things could happen. So, oh, bit of stop. There we go. So, um. There you go, done. That's the uh, that's the update for now. Anyone have any ideas or whatever? Let me know. See ya.